in. So this would be a little informational one about your um, why we have you in the position that we do. Um, so when Christina sleeps, um, the head of the bed is at approximately 20 degrees, and then the foot of the bed is probably almost five degrees. And we have to fluff Christina's pillow a lot because um, she likes to tilt her head back. So Christina aspirates on thin liquids and has a lot of excess saliva. So when she's upright, and so I have her inclined, or should we call it reclined? I inclined you, <laughs> brought you up, um, as opposed to laying down so that the saliva will run down her throat and she has to swallow it. Um, but it's more of a constant and she doesn't, and <coughs> don't give it a chance to thank you, to pool. <laughs> it's lovely, lovely. Thanks for the shower. <laughs> um, so I, I don't have her, let's see, what do we have for degrees? We are, she's just at about 15 degrees right now, but she's slid down so much that her, her torso is definitely not at 15. So um, our bend, bend in the bed is here. And then um, she still has a pillow propping her knees up. And I also pull it up through the knees a little bit to act as a wedge. Keep those help keep those legs in position yeah so i'm always watching to make sure that she doesn't how about you show everybody how you tilt how you tilt your head back you're not going to be able to sit up that's not how you sit up what do you do when you tilt your head back the other way push back really really hard into the pillow backwards and then with the movement around and the pushing she'll get flat so then we just fluff a little <laughs> keep try to keep that throat in a in an ideal position this is i came too far forward to give myself a little bit of time before i have to adjust again because somebody's a little wiggly and you think you're going to grab me and tickle me so she likes to grab han if she can get my shirt she'll pull mm. and every once in a while she'll wiggle those little fingers up and get my armpits to try to tickle me thank you very much Yes, what can I do for you? May I help you, ma'am? Uh, yeah, what would you like? What would you like? So let's see, let's you you keep reaching. Hang on, let's see if that's on camera. Uh it is. So show them how you got wanna reach for me. Now she doesn't call this a hug, but she wants to take her arm, put it around my neck. You gonna, are you going to pull me close? Yep, <laughs> pull me close. I'm stronger, though. <laughs> Hi, kid. Morning. You can pull me close one more time. Uh, squeeze. All right, thank you. Now let's get you dressed. So now we told her why you're sitting up a little bit in bed. So we have to worry about your choking. And you like to see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if I sit you up higher, um, that greatly increases the chance of you sliding down. And then I need to try to slide you back up. And that gets to be a little interesting. Yeah, huh? Oh, chapstick? That looks like the chapstick sign. You know that, right? Is it the ambasol sign? You want ambasol? Do your teeth hurt or do you want attention? Do your teeth hurt? Mm. You want attention? Mm. Yeah. How about I stop recording and then I can give you a great big uh, squeeze. I'll give you a hug, kid.